Hi guys, today we're going to be reading an article about Beyonce and talking a little bit, uh, having discussion about science and art and music. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is introduce ourselves and um, give me some hobbies, some of your hobbies. So as soon as people join class, we'll start that. And if you want to, if you're watching now, you can just tell me on the chat box who you are, where you're from, and your hobbies or any activities you do. Hold on one second. Um, uh, Edita, it's, okay. it sounds like you have more than one burbling. Edita, hello. Hi. Okay. Hi. Now it okay. sounds much better. Um, do you have um, more than have one more than burbling, burbling site open? Site open? Like the no, like the? Page. No. There's um. There's only one window open. No. Oh, okay. And can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. But I'm giving a lot of feedback. I can hear myself fine. Which usually which means usually that, someone, that has someone has two pages open. Two pages open. Oh, I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. Um. Uh, we'll try to. We'll try to move on as best, on we, as can. best we can. So, uh, so uh, you're Edita, and where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Poland. Awesome. What time, awesome. Is, it what there? time is it there? Uh, it's 1 p.m. Okay. Good, okay. Time, for Good time for English. <laughs> Here, um, my, name um, my name is Michaela, and I'm and coming I'm from Phoenix, Phoenix, Arizona. And here it and is here 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. How are you feeling? Ah, ah, it's a little early, a little early, early but luckily well, I like luckily waking, I up like waking up early. Unbelievable. <laughs> so do you, so can, can you, you hear me can well, you hear me well or, do or do you hear an echo? No, I can hear it very well. And what about me? Can oh, I can hear, I you, can well. hear you well. It's just distracting, it's just distracting because, there's, because there's, I have, a, I have an, a, echo. an echo. I don't know why. But, but that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Mm -hmm. All right. As soon All as, right. as, we, as, get as we get more people, people we'll, uh, we'll do more uh, introductions, introductions, and then we'll start the class. Start the class. Okay. Let's see. Hi, Vikram. Okay. Hi. 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 <laughs> see you again. See you again. Yeah, nice to see you back. Yeah, nice to see you back. We're doing another article yeah. this another class, article. so I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, while we're waiting, while we're waiting let's, talk let's talk about hobbies. About hobbies. Who has a Who hobby? Has a hobby. Edita, Edita, do you have any you have hobbies? hobbies? Um. I guess uh, my hobby is English and reading. Those are great, Those hobbies, are great to hobbies to have. Thank you. And what about you? Um, um, let's see. Let's see. I have many I have hobbies, hobbies, I guess. I, guess. I uh, like to like jog. To jog. And, and I like to, like to learn languages, languages, although sometimes, 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 sometimes I am better, better than others. Sometimes I go sometimes a whole month go without, without taking, taking any classes. Taking any classes. So, <laughs> um, and I love to meet and I love people. to meet. I don't know if that's a, hobby, know if that's a hobby, but I like to do that. I like to do that as well. 
Um, sorry, teacher, can, can I, teacher, can I, can I say something? What? We have an echo. Yeah, yeah. We have oh, an echo coming from Edita. Um, she's opening maybe two pages, bubbling and hang out at the same time, maybe. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, I think, yeah, now it's solved. We, we have some echo. It was coming from Edita, maybe? Yeah. Your name? yeah. Yeah. I think I think it's something about uh, the way Adita is connected. She said she doesn't have two pages open, but for whatever reason, it's giving a terrible echo. So I'm gonna try and yeah. keep her keep her muted until until she has to actually participate and talk, so that we don't yeah. uh, have that terrible echo sound. Yeah. So. Adita, did you hear that? Your for some reason your connection is causing an echo. So, oh, she's gone. Okay, so maybe we don't have to worry about it anymore. Sorry, Adita. Um, <laughs> all right. So, Imad, can you tell us who you are, where you're from, and what you do as a hobby? Yeah, my name is Imad. I'm from Syria originally. That's right. I'm living in Egypt. Um, my hobby, uh, I have many hobbies. I like to watch movies, I like swim, I have, in sport, I like swimming, yeah. Awesome, that sounds great. You're very physically active then. Yeah. Awesome. Very healthy sounding, okay. Um, Juan, can you tell us who you are, where you're from, and some of your hobbies? Yes, teacher. I'm from uh, Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico. Uh huh. And one of my hobbies is to learn English, to improve my English. Yay! That's an awesome hobby. Do you do it every day or every week? Every day. That's an awesome hobby. Uh, yeah. Okay. Lucy, will you tell us about yourself? Sorry. Lucy, can you introduce yourself? Tell us your name and where you're from. I'm from. Can you introduce yourself? I'm from Brazil. But uh, I live in, in Italy. Oh, wow. Where in Italy? And where you're from? I'm from, I'm from Brazil. But uh, you guys, I live in Italy. There's echo. There's echo right now, which means someone forgot. I think, Lucy, you might have forgotten the two verbling pages up. Can you close the other verbling page? That way we don't have the echo. Can you hear me, Lucy? Can you close the other verbling page? That way we don't have the echo. I don't know. Can you hear me, Lucy? Yeah. Can you close the other verbling page? That way we don't have the echo. Can you hear me, Lucy? Yeah. Can you close the other verbling page? Okay, so can everyone, oh, maybe the problem is fixed. Okay, Lucy, can you hear me still? Lucy? Hi. Hi. So you're from Brazil, and where do you live in Italy? Uh, Milan. Milan, awesome. sorry. Very, very cool. Thanks uh, for coming to class today. It sounds like maybe you have two verbling pages open. Can you close the first verbling page 
not the page where you see me, but the other one. Oh, okay, so, okay, okay. 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 Vikram, will you tell us who you are, where you're from, and your hobbies? Vikram, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, can you tell us who you are, where you're from, and one of your hobbies? I'm from India, uh, staying in Mumbai city. Awesome. What My time hobbies is it are there? Uh, right now it is uh, five fifty p.m. Okay. And your hobbies? My hobbies are uh, internet surfing. Uh, what are they? Play internet surfing. Ah yes, yes, me too. And uh, uh, playing crickets. Traveling, cool. watching movies. Traveling, that's a great one. Yeah, and cooking. Awesome. Cook. awesome. Thank you. And um, next up. Oh, did you have anything else to add? <laughs> so, Zechariah, did I say that right? Zechariah. Yes, my name is Zekeria. Hello, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Uh, I am from Turkey. I am a mechanics teacher. Uh, my English level is elementary. Uh, I like playing guitar and uh, playing basketball. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice okay. to meet you. <laughs> Aladdin, can you hear me Aladdin? Does everyone want to say hi to my cat? Look. <laughs> yes, hi. Hi, Skype. <laughs> okay, Aladdin. <laughs> Aladdin, will you, will you tell me who you are, where you're from, and uh, one of your hobbies? I'm from uh, Algeria. All right, thank you. And what time is it there? So. One, one p.m. Awesome. Great time for English. Do you have any hobbies? Yes, I uh, play football. Football and you like? soccer and or American football? Soccer, soccer. I figured. And I like uh, computer games. What kind of computer games? Uh, racing. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Uh, Adita, will you introduce yourself one more time so that the class can get to know you a little better? Yes, I can introduce myself, but I don't know if there isn't any echo. Can no, now, no, now the echo. Oh, oh well, it's still well, there it's a little bit. But please introduce, please introduce yourself, yourself, and then when and you're, then finished, you're finished, just mute, mute your microphone. Your microphone. Yes, uh, I understand. Right. My name is Edita. I'm from Poland. I work as a teacher in a high school. And, and your hobbies? hobbies? And my hobbies are, I would say, languages. I started to learn Spanish some weeks ago. Cool, cool. That's very cool. That's very cool. But I am not good at Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> One, day. One day. It takes time. It takes time. Yes, I know. Okay, thank okay, you very much. Mm -hmm. So, will you mute my microphone now? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, thanks. Okay. Um, who's next? Ahmad, you already went. How about Farad? Farad? Yeah. <coughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Oh, well, I'm doing well. What's about you? I'm doing very well. It's early in the morning, but I'm very excited for this class. Can you tell us uh, where you're from and a hobby you have? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm. Com I come from Pakistan, and uh, I have a lot of hobbies, and uh, I like uh, uh, making friends um, from every part of the world or everywhere. 
and uh, I like uh, I like play volleyball and uh, sometimes play cricket uh, and um, uh, there are many uh, and and uh, reading uh, reading books uh, not for pleasure just for um, learning <laughs> English <laughs> and uh, um, okay so these are um, Besides this, I have also um, many hobby, but uh, okay, uh, call other person. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. Inigo, you're welcome. will you tell us uh, who you are, where you're from, and your, your hobbies? Hi there, my name is Inigo. Uh, I'm from Spain, I'm a student. Uh, I'm, I am a fashion student. Uh, and my hobbies, I have many hobbies, but uh, I don't know if they are hobbies because I think yeah. and they are more than hobbies because I, I love drawing, but you know, it, it's what I ha have to do for a living actually. And well, I love, I love cinema, you know, going to museums, cinema, but it's more than a hobby, you know, I, I really love it. It's part of my life. and. I think the hobby, the hobby can be cooking. Yes. Cook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I, I don't do it really often, but I like it. And I don't know, going for a walk or visiting places, but it's a hobby. Okay. No, that could be a hobby. Yes. No, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Joe, Joe, Nick, will you tell us who you are, where you're from, and one of your hobbies or other hobbies? Can you hear me, Joe, Nick? Oh, Joe, Nick is gone. Okay. How about um, Vikram? Did you tell yeah. us a hobby yet? Yes. I, you already, I told you. Yeah, you I already, already told you. Us. Thank you. Okay. So now we've done everybody, right? I think we've done everybody. Um, so today we're reading an article. Does everyone see the article we're reading? Why Does everyone... Beyonce? Yeah, it's about Beyonce. Who likes Beyonce? Beyonce would make an excellent scientist, really. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Okay, so um, does everyone know Beyonce? Has everyone heard of Beyonce? Can you repeat, please? Make does example. everyone know Beyonce? Have you heard of her? You know who she is? Obviously. Okay, no. just, She's a, I just want to make sure. a pop singer? Yeah, yeah, a pop She's singer. She's a pop singer? I think she's the most yeah. famous person in the world, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. It's very possible. She's very, very famous. Okay. Um, and let's see, I had one more question. Does everyone know that song that she does that it's called Single Ladies? Does everyone know that song? I don't know. Yeah, yeah I know. Okay. Uh, I heard it. Uh, I have heard this uh, song. Um, uh, maybe uh, five or four months ago, but uh, you just uh, told um, um, single lady, and so I heard uh, this. Yeah. Does everyone know the dance? Who can do the dance? <laughs> she does nice dance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The single ladies dance. Everyone knows that dance. So it's pretty funny. I just wanted to make sure you guys were a little bit familiar with her. Um, what do you guys think? Is she a good performer? Does yeah. anyone think that yeah. she is a good yeah. performer? Yes. Yeah, she is. She is quite does anyone, well. Good. Does anyone think she's a bad performer? Or a bad musician? Or a bad artist? No, she's really what No. Yeah, I think she. Some of the teacher, uh, some of them are not in one category. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So we're going to read an article. I already put it in the Verbling chat box. So um, let's start. The first thing you'll see is a picture of Beyonce. And then below that, we have the beginning of the article where it says there is a lot of discussion these days. So let's have um, Aladdin. Can you read that for us? The first paragraph. There is, there is a lot of discussion this day about the relationship between science and art. For saying folks art in all its diverse forms is a process having very little overlap with science. Art is about interpretation. Science is about facts and of story. For others, both art and science are methods of inquiry. Each is quite different from the other, but both are investigations of ourselves and the words we inhabit. The third cam argues that both art and science create meaning by creating culture. Science contrib contributing to technology, art using those technologies, which pers pers perspective is correct. What is the true relation uh, relationship between art and science if you ask me, Buyancy is one person who can really offer some answers. Okay, thank you, Aladdin. I know that was like a long and difficult paragraph. Thank you for reading that for us. So, Aladdin, what do you think? Uh, is art and science, are they related or are they totally different? Uh, they, uh, they are different. Different? So you think that science is all about facts and art is all about... Um, expression and they're they're not very similar right yes okay Adita what do you think are art and science similar or very different for me it's uh, they are different all right so you think the same as Aladdin, Aladdin that they're very they're different, very different and, they, and they're not very similar, not very at, all. similar at all yeah yes I do okay, okay. thank you um, Farad, what do you think about art and science? Are they similar or very opposite, different? Um, teacher, I, um, um, in my opinion, I think that uh, there is a uh, quite diversity between the art and science, but still, because I'm a science student, so be a STEM student, I know this fact that uh, uh, there is a quiet relationship, uh, uh, a little bit relationship between the science and the art because arts is basically when we do something in a practical, just like in engineering uh, art, for example, uh, e e eating art. So this is exactly the uh, some because uh, in economics and these kind of subjects are including in the art. So we basically do something practical and um, but also, but there, I think that uh, there is some uh, resemblance, some kind of uh, similarity between uh, them. But uh, also, uh, if we see on one um, side, uh, but uh, if you look at the other side, so we can find that uh, there is also some there was some differences uh, uh, between them. Yeah. Because in the ancient in the ancient time, uh, people usually uh, prefer uh, poetry and. Uh, just kind of uh, uh, thing uh, by using a science uh, and um, so and still uh, uh, if you uh, 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 I mean that uh, uh, in, in a short uh, I don't want to uh, make you confused or bored by my topic my talking <laughs> but just to uh, say that uh, there is a, a little bit uh, resemblance but uh, not so much uh, uh, Mm-hmm. Thank you. That was um, a very full response. Thank you very much for participating. Okay. Inigo, what do you think? No, no, really, it's re really, really related uh, art and, and science because, you know, art is related with everything in life. You know, art is, you know, it's, uh, the, the idea of art, you know, for me is to, it's something that is not material, actually, or it's beyond 
the material. No, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, it's something that it, it's beyond uh, the, the material things, but actually it's something that the artists make for people for for try to make a better world in some way. Okay, and mm -hmm. I think that the, the end of the of the science will be that to make a, a better world and. For example, in music, you know, music, it's mathematics, you know, the, the you know, all the, the pentagrams and especially yes. classical, yes. classical, and all, all of that, it's mathematics, and obviously it's related. I think it's related with everything. Science is related, related with everything in our life, like art. When you eat something, there is a process, uh, maybe a process, a scientific process, and yeah, art, to art the same. You know, when you buy yeah. something designed by somebody, I know. I think you need uh, creativity for both, for being a, a scientific and for being an artist. I, I don't know how. To, <laughs> If it's clear, but more or less, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, I totally understand. I think that things are, are not uh, in one place and the other just in the opposite place. I think everything is really connected in some way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything is connected, so it's difficult to um, pull them apart because some things are half art, half science. It's difficult to tell or define. One thing is this, and one thing is that. Yes, because both are created by, uh, by humans, and developed by humans. And, uh, mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Um, let's have Narendra. Can you tell us who you are, where you're from, and then talk about art and science? I can't hear you very well. Can you uh, speak a little louder? So, uh, where are you from? All right, we'll, we'll come back to you then. Let us know if your mic gets fixed. Ro Romulo? Is that how you say it? Oh. Yes? Narendra, did you have something to say? Okay. <laughs> Romulo, will you tell us about yourself? Can you hear us? I can't hear you, Romulo. We'll come back to you, okay? Vikram. Tell us about yeah. yourself. What do you think? Uh, uh, what do you think about the art and science debate? Both are different. You uh, think they're completely different? Yeah. All right. Uh, um, what about something like music? Inigo said that uh, music can be a little bit of both because it's very mathematic, but it's also a type of art. So, what do you think about that? Uh. Music is uh, uh, emotions, related to emotions, mm -hmm. like uh, rock so do you music. Think, do you think it could be scientific? Do you think music can be scientific, or is it art? It is a art. Art, okay. Yeah. All right, cool. And last but not least, we have Zakir Zakaria. <laughs> Sorry, I can't pronounce your name very well. Hello, Zakaria. Yes. Yeah. Can you tell us what you think? Uh, are art and science related? Are they the same thing, or are they completely opposite? Uh, art and uh, science aren't the same, but uh, they are together. Together, they have relationship. Uh, for example, uh, the science found something. Uh, um, uh, for example, uh, science. Uh, uh, made a smartphone, for example. Art is uh, 
designed the smartphone. They are together. Yeah. Uh, made and designed. Uh, science and art. Thank you. All right. Thank you for contributing. Okay, so um, who wants to read the next paragraph? Farhad, can you read the next paragraph for us? Yeah, teacher, wait a minute. Okay, yes, that beyond, stay with me here. Yes, the one with the hips. Sasha Ferris, Aka, single ladies, put a ring on it. Aka, Mr. J, Z, etc. Beyonce, I believe, can teach us uh, all about at least one essential point of con contact between art and science. So first of all, I do have to admit that I have a thing for certain genre, genre of genre. pop diva. Genre, okay, genre. Uh, Diana Ross, Aretha Franklin, Franklin and Nina Simon are always there in my head. There are the they are gent gents. Madonna counts as a dev for my own generation. Jennifer Lopez, come late and now we have Beyonce. I do have to say that I never got Destiny's child. Child, uh, why exactly is it that I should say your name? But when my daughter turned me on to the radio for irreplaceable a few years ago, I, walk, I was hooked. Okay, thank you. Before we get into content there, I'd like to know, um, does anyone know what AKA means? They use yes. it in the first paragraph, he, he said. What does it mean? Also known as. Yes, it means also known as. But that is international, like, okay. Huh? But uh, I think that that is international, like, Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, that's awesome, then. <laughs> I thought it would be something difficult to understand. Uh, teacher, uh, what does a Jenner mean? Uh, certain Jenner, uh, cert, uh, Jenner, what does it mean? Genre, it's... It's pronounced genre, genre because it's a genre. French. It's originally a French word, but it means like the style of music. So pop is a genre, rock is a genre, genre. Um, reggae okay. is a genre. Do you guys have any other yeah. vocabulary questions yet? Uh, what do you mean by Beyonce? Beyonce is a an artist, so it's the name of an artist. Okay. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions as far as vocabulary goes? Mm -hmm. Nothing? Awesome. You guys uh, are great then. I thought you guys might have some trouble here. Uh, what about Diana Ross, Aretha Franklin, and Nina Simone? Do you guys know those people? Do you yes. know any of them? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know the uh, Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez? Yeah. She's awesome. I know Madonna. Yeah. yeah, I also know Madonna, yes. uh, Jennifer Lopez, and um, uh, just these two I know, and, and I like their music very well. Me too. I'm a big fan of, Gen um, of those Jennifer singers. Lopez also acted in movies also. Yeah, yeah. She's done a lot of stuff. She's very diverse as a star. She does so many things. Um, yeah, I like them yeah. a lot, and I would recommend if you guys don't know them, go look them up because they have some really interesting stuff. Um, what about Madonna? What do you guys think about Madonna? Would you consider her a diva? For some people, yes. Yeah. Yeah, she is a diva. <laughs> All right. So next, you can see we have like we have a little video of Irreplaceable. We're not going to watch it now. I would recommend, if you want to watch it, to watch it after class. We might have time at the end of class, but I think probably you'll end up having to watch it on your own time. It's a very good video, but definitely to be watched after class. Um, so who I will watch it. Yeah. No, it's a very good video. You should. And it, it's also, I think, really helpful to try to 
listen to a song and understand what they're saying. And then after you listen to it, maybe look up the lyrics and see if you understood correctly and see if you can understand more after looking up the lyrics. I think that's a really helpful exercise for learning English. Okay, so who can read the next paragraph? Was it, Inigo, is it your turn? I think it's your turn. Okay. Yes, Beyonce is mm, stunningly, painfully, and divinely beautiful. But really, I swear that that's not, not it. Let's, let's face it. Every year, a new good love or beautiful woman magically appears on pop music public stage. Some of them can even sing and dance really well. So beauty and native talent are not what make Beyonce the embodiment of a white vital, vital living connection between art and science. It's something rather still. Okay, thank you. It's excellent. Um, who can continue for me? Let's see, let's try Mohammed. Can you continue for me? Can you hear me, Mohammed? Me? Yes. Yeah, would, would you continue after its excellence? So read the paragraph beneath that. Which paragraph? The paragraph right under if, uh, its excellence. It starts with, if we were looking at a Venn diagram. I'm sorry, but I have only the page of Google Plus, so I know what where is the article. Oh, okay. Here, I'll put it in the, Michel, in the box for you. Michelle, can I read? Yeah, please do. There's the article. Uh, it's, it's excellence. If we are looking at Venn diagram, the region of overlap between arts and science would be labeled excellence. It is in a common trait that births and two together in both domains. What really matters is a discipline of visions and the unrelenting try to get it right. And just because excellent science sometimes lead to answers that are correct in the back of the books, sense of the world. That doesn't mean that arts and artists don't have their own meaning of getting it right. Okay, so now I would like to know uh, if you guys had to name like an artist or a scientist that is excellent or has excellence, which means that they may maybe don't always uh, do it by the book, but they're really really talented. Who who would you name? Can anyone Abdul think of Kalam. someone? Who? Abdul Kalam. And what does he do? Is he a scientist he's or an a, artist? He's a scientist. What does he study? Uh, actually, he's a. I don't know exactly. So why do you think he's excellent? Is he a very uh, effective uh, scientist? Yeah. All right, and do you know? Do you know uh, what he's studied? Why do you think he's an excellent scientist? What makes him better than other people? I hear from other people. All right, awesome. Yeah. Um, how about Inigo? Do you know anyone who you would consider excellent, an artist or a scientist? Yes, uh, his name is Eduardo Eduardo Punset, Spanish, uh, and he's not well known. In on the world, only here. But the, the point or the good of, of his work is that he's really, really, um, really good uh, scientific science, scientist. But he he makes uh, programs for people, for everybody, mm -hmm. but with quality. You know, not not cheap science or something. He he wants to to be close to the people, to, to approach the science to people, and he makes really good uh, documentaries, but he's also really, really a nice man, really, really cheerful, and, and he makes interesting, interesting documentaries. So I think he's uh, excellent on that, because he, can, he ma has made that people, uh, has, we are interested on in what he does, he's really old, but he has been working on, on his life and his projects 
and now he has a TV program and he makes interviews uh, to really important scientists and who all over the world and he goes interviews them and exposes their the project. No, it's really interesting. Awesome. That's yes, really cool. Awesome. Yes, he's really nice. I'll have to look him up. Thank you for letting us know about him. Okay. I can, I can, I, what? I can I can write his name if you want. Oh yeah, that would be that would be great. Write his name in the in the chat box. And if anyone else wants to recommend me something to look up or uh, wants to give their answer in the chat box, feel free to do that. Thank you, Inigo. I'll I'll look him up after class. Eduardo Punset. Okay. Mohammed, what do you think? Do you know anyone who is, is uh, excellent? Mohammed, can you hear me? Yes. All right, and what do you think? Do you know any scientist or artist that's excellent, and who is it? Um, scientist, um, I don't know. Um, mm, I don't know. Could be an artist I'm sorry. too. Do you know any artists? Uh, a singer or an actor or a director? Ah, yes. Uh, we have uh, a famous uh, uh, singer here in Egypt. Uh, he he called Amr Diab. I think uh, it's known in in all over over the world. Mm -hmm. Um. But uh, he is not very famous, but uh, some people uh, know, know him. All right. And do you think that he's excellent at what he does? Yes, uh, because uh, uh, he, he is um, uh, more than 50 years, but uh, wow. he seems like uh, um, Better than uh, people um, uh, minor, uh, minor the, uh, him. Mm -hmm. So uh, he he is caring uh, caring uh, is taking care care about uh, himself, and um, it he 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 was a star in the um, the ninety in nineteen ninety. And uh, he 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 uh, tell or he is uh, still um, one of the best uh, singers in Egypt. So I adore this uh, singer. So he's a very accomplished person. Then he's done a lot. Sounds like exactly. All right. Cool. Well, thank you, uh, Narendra. Yeah. Do you have anyone to tell us about? I can see you, but I can't hear you, Narendra. So maybe if you want to um, write your response in the chat box, do you want to write it in the chat box? I can't hear you. Your microphone isn't working. Sorry, your microphone's not working. Um, let's see. No. So if you want to write your response in the chat box, then I'll read it to the class or. Um, anyways, okay, how about you, Romulo? Will you tell us someone, an artist or a scientist you think is excellent? Can you hear me, Romulo? I can't hear you. We'll have to come back to you. Silvio. Yeah, hi. Hi Silvio, where are you coming Hi. from tonight? Are you in? Where are you? Uh, I'm I'm in Italy, near near Rome. Awesome. I figured oh. I figured from your name, but you can never be totally sure if someone's from one country or another. Yeah. You have a very Italian name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's very common. Okay. And do you uh, know anyone, an artist or a scientist that you think is excellent or very very talented, better than others? Uh, yeah, I can tell you about um, 
my my favorite singer um, is an Italian singer. Uh, his name is uh, Fabrizio D'Andre, and um, he was born was born in uh, Genova in uh, I, I think in 1940. Uh, was an Italian singer um, uh, who, who used to who used to play um, songs uh, uh, right uh, who, who wrote uh, wrote by himself and mm -hmm. uh, um, he's very he's very famous uh, here in Italy uh, because of his uh, um, uh, of his songs. They were uh, like poems uh, with music, and uh, uh, he's um, uh, he he is dead in uh, well he is dead in uh, 1999, and uh, uh, now um, uh, every 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 year on. Uh, on the date of of his death, uh, there is a big concert uh, where uh, he's remembered as uh, with these songs, and uh, uh, I um, I always go there to to remember him and because I love him. Awesome! That's really cool. Thank you. Okay, uh, Vikram, you put a large. Uh, paragraph in the in the verbling chat box about um, APJ Abdul Kalam. Kalam. Yeah, yeah, Abdul Kalam. And yeah. can you tell us a little bit about him? You have the the thing here. If you want, you can read it to us, or you can just yeah. tell us a little bit about him. Uh, actually, he's, he's belonging to poor family. Mm -hmm. He uh, he worked very hard to reach uh, these positions. Uh, he's okay. a great, great scientist, Indian scientist. Awesome. Uh, and you and think he's he, more talented than other scientists? Yeah, he is a uh, contributor for nuclear uh, power in India. Uh, he got uh, honor from uh, many, like uh, he got. Uh, uh, Honorary of Doctorate of Science, University of Wolverine, and uh, King Charles II Medal, Royal Society UK, Do Doctor of Engineering, uh, Nang Technology University, Singapore, International One Coming Wings Awards, California Institute of Technology, USA. Sounds like a talented Ho guy. Howard Medal from ASME Foundation, USA. Doctor of Engineering, University of Waterloo. Wow. I honorary membership and Doctor of Law, Simon Fras Universities. He's done a lot. Yeah, he's uh, 81 years old now. He's a uh, wow. he also a president of India. He's oh okay, so he really is a very accomplished guy too. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. He does sound excellent. Yeah. Okay. Zakaria? Zakaria? Can you tell us about an artist or a scientist that you think is excellent? Yes. Uh, I remembered uh, Leonardo da Vinci. He was, That's a good one. <laughs> yes. He was an artist and a scientist. Uh, for example, he made Mona Lisa and uh, he discovered lots of things. He is excellent. Yeah, definitely uh, excellent and very, very talented. And you can tell, I think, because even uh, many, many years after he already died, he's still very famous. Yes, he's still famous, yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, let's go on. Who can read? Zachariah, will you read the next paragraph for us? Yes, uh, this weekend my sweetie and I watched Life is But a Dream, the HBO documentary that follows Beyonce over a few years as the stra 
struggles to move it forward in her creative and personal life. She breaks with her diet manager, has a baby, etc. What struck me most were the science of preparation, preparation for recording albums and preparation for big performances. What comes through clearly in the show in an artist who has a clear set of ideas often about the role of women in culture and who pays meticulous attention to detail in service to these ideas. Okay, thank you. Does anyone know the meaning of the word meticulous? Yes. What's the meaning of the word meticulous? Uh, to be really perfectionist. To want to do everything perfect. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Okay, um, the next paragraph is very, very short. Will, Sylvia, will you read the next paragraph and the thing after that, since the first one is just very short sentence, and then read the next yeah. paragraph? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so, um, that, my friends, is where okay. art and science meet. A clear set of ideas executed with meticulous attention to detail. In science, excellence establish itself through the quality of inquiry. You have some idea about, say, the links between meteors and mass extinctions. You begin with a framework for addressing that question using the tool you have trained with one with over a lifetime. This could be forms of mathematical analysis, data gathering techniques, or invention of new to tools of observation. Throughout the entire process, the primary concern for a scientist is the integ integrity she brings to every step of the process. How unbiased, 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 sorry, um, will you be? Will you be about your assumptions at the start of the work? How disciplined, disciplined, will you be in maintaining the strict standards for data collection? Finally, how honest will you be about the reach of the conclusions? Uh, do I have to continue? Or? No, no, that's good. Thank you. Thank you for okay. reading that. That was a, a long and difficult section. Um, <laughs> any okay. questions on vocabulary in that section? Yeah. Um, what biased. do you mean by unbiased? Uh, yeah. Unbiased? Unbiased yeah. means that you have um, no preconceived notions. So basically, if you look for the truth, and you don't already think something. A bias, B-I-A-S, is when you already think something and you want to support that thought. So if you already think that the sky is green and you want to support that fact, then you can find um, facts to support you. But if you want to know what color the sky is, then you have to look for different things. So a bias is when you already think something, like a hypothesis, that you're trying to support. And if you're unbiased, it means you just have a question. You don't have any preconceived notions. Is that clear? Okay. Okay. Um, any other vocabulary questions? Nothing? Awesome, guys. Um, then who can finish the article for me? There's just one short paragraph and a sentence left. Who, is there anyone who hasn't read? Mm, can I do it? Yeah, please. Uh, excellence in science is defined by a rigor and an integrity that doesn't cut corners that remain true to the original vision of the question at hand. It doesn't mean perfection. It does mean not letting it go of the project until you are sure you can believe in it. Sounds a lot like beyond to me. 
All right. So um, what about cut corners? Integrity that doesn't cut corners. What does that mean? Does anyone know that phrase, cut corners? An expression? An English. It is an expression. Does anyone understand it? Has anyone ever heard it before? Uh, maybe uh, it means that you do not do use short ways or something. Exactly. So if you cut corners, it means that um, you're doing something cheap or easy or you're, you're taking a shortcut. You're cutting out work so that it's easier. But if you don't cut corners, it means that you do all of the work complete and full and uh, you don't try to get out of anything or escape work. You just do everything <coughs> as best as you can. Okay. So, um, last time I'm going to ask, do you guys have any, any um, vocabulary questions? Earlier we talked about a Venn diagram. Does everyone know what a Venn diagram is? Does everyone know what a Venn diagram is? No. No? No. 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 A, a Venn diagram? I, I don't know if this is a, a term that other countries use or not, but a Venn diagram is like two circles that are linked. Here, I'll, I'll draw a picture. I'm a super great artist. A Venn diagram just looks like this. And there's a section in the middle that both of them have. So it's a it's a way to oh noise, hold on. That's better. So it's a way to compare two things. It's an easy way to compare two things. Okay, any any other questions before uh, we finish? What do you guys think? Do you agree with the conclusion of the article? It's funny, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely funny because, you know, it's talking about Beyonce, who is just kind of a pop diva. But I think it's true. Ironic in some way. Yeah, yeah, it is a little bit ironic. It's kind of funny, kind of, um, you know, tongue-in-cheek, which means, like, it's taking a, a silly topic like Beyonce, because Beyonce has very funny pop music, and connecting it to something very real, like science and art. So I think it's a funny article, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes. Okay. It was fun. Um, Vikram has a question about how he can connect with me on Facebook. So... I have my, a Facebook page connected to my Verbling account. I think you guys can like go to my profile or something and it will show you. But um, if you don't know how to go to my profile or don't you know, have a question or don't see where it's connected, you can find me on Facebook at Mikila Afidani. Like that. Are you Italian? I am actually Italian descent. Um, my mom is Italian and my father is American, so I'm half and half. And I actually lived in Italy for a year. I lived in Torino. Okay. <laughs> because of the name, Michaela is from Italy. Yeah, yeah. It's also a kind of Italian name, so kind of have oh, yeah. a diverse heritage. Uh, huh? No, yes, in the, your name and your yeah, surname. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I have another class right now, so I'm going to disconnect and reconnect. I'm going to do one more article. If anyone wants to join, I'd be happy to have you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys another day, and thank you so much for uh, participating in this class. I had a great time. Thank, thank you. you. guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.